right, guys, today we are going to cook on the Omni cook stove. So let's get to it. Feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Oh boy, we're gonna make some croissants in here. I'm gonna check. I bought these to test it out. I'm not gonna eat them because I'm trying to stay away from breads, but I wanted to see how this cooks them up. I'm gonna give them to the folks in the cabin that live on this property where I rent a spot to stay. So let's get on and cook us some croissants. Okay, while this is cooking, we'll have a little chat. It says uh, 9 to 12 minutes. So I'm going to let it get nice going here, and I'll turn it down on low. That's what everybody's saying to do, and we'll see how it does. It's starting to look really good, guys. Dang, those look good. I wish I could have one. What's up, guys? They're cooking, they're close to being done. I can't wait. And I'll show you guys how they look once they're done. Uh, I thought maybe we could talk a few minutes. I hope everybody is having a great day. It is Friday, about three o'clock in the afternoon here in Southern Oregon. And I'm using the Omni uh, little cook stove that goes with like a Coleman uh, camp stove. Uh, Glorious Life on Wheels sent this to me. And thank you, Carol, so much. This is the coolest gift. And I am going to have the Glorious Life on Wheels link in my description below. But again, thank you, darling, for the cook stove. So awesome. Um, I never never knew about these until just here a while back. And I seen one on um, Paul Barger. Uh, and I loved it. And I was wanting one. And so Miss Carol got me one. Thank you, darling. Uh, tonight, campfire is going to be on. This video will probably come up. One, uh, I, it's not going to be loaded before then. But... Uh, that's what I'm getting ready for to this evening, getting cleaned up, got the van cleaned up, cooking some dinner, and uh, going to head on to the campfire and hang out with all the guys. Um, that's meant to be RV and campfire. If you guys don't know about it, it's on every Friday night. Check it out. Um, let's see. Uh, I think Box Van D is on tomorrow morning. I had a different time. I didn't get that. I didn't check for sure, but you guys check out Box Van D too. Um Let's see. Uh, what I've been doing today, I uh, not a lot. I've just been cleaning up around the van. I'm waiting for my diesel heater to get here. We will do a little video about that once it's here. Um, going to, uh, uh, I, I've got a place picked out where I want to install it. Um, it's an all-in-one diesel heater, so it's 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 encased in a case, and it has the tank inside that and the the little heater inside that. It is digital. Uh, read out with a remote control. So that'll be nice. Um, and if I remember, I got the one with the four uh, hoses that come out so you can direct the heat four different ways. Uh, I think that's the one I got or maybe just the one, but I think it was the four. Um, but I got it for a pretty good price, $133 on Amazon. So let's just hope it's a good one. Uh, I, there was a lot of good reviews about it, nothing bad. So that's great. Um, I will do an unboxing on it when it comes and inst installing it. Um, and I believe I'm going to put it right here in the bottom of my closet, which is by the shower. And that way I can direct the, the, the hoses to the front and then two to the back here. Because uh, right now, like I'm sitting by my bed. Uh, it, um, and then like my computer right now is sitting on my bed. Um, so yeah, looking forward to getting the diesel heater. You know, I can't complain about the Wave 3 heater has been awesome. Uh, but, uh, it, you know, it, it, no matter what, it's still a little bit of a wet heat. And i really looking forward to that dry heat. And um, I'm parked right now in one spot. So I plug in. I have a battery charger on my uh, house battery. And so it keeps my battery charged and I can run the diesel heater off that because it is a 12 volt. Um, let's see what else is happening. I got some new stuff I'm going to try on the ceiling. I did the wallpaper, as you guys know, on the top part of over the bed. But I just watched Maddie Van Halen's video. 
about how he did his ceiling. So I think I'm gonna do part of mine that way. Uh, so I'm gonna check it out. Once I get it going and get it up there, I will do a video and show you guys. But if you can't wait, check out Matty Van Halen's video on how he did his ceiling. It's pretty cool. Um, let's see, not a whole lot going on other than that, guys. Um, hey, let's take a break and check on the croissants. Okay, I think I had it on a little high. So I flipped them over, they're, they're almost done, but I wanted to get the brown, a little bit more brown spots on, on the other side. Yeah, I think I had it on a little too high because it said low and it looked like it was on low for me, but see, I broke that one tearing it, turning it over. But shoot, they still gonna be good. So now I'll know to do it on low next time, a uh, really low, because as you can see, I don't have it on very high. Let me turn that down a little bit more. There, it can't get much lower than that. So let's see how that does. All right, they turned out pretty good for first time using this. I'm sure people that's used to it could have done it better, but they are done and they're very flaky. But I'm gonna take these inside real quick and give it to the folks that um, have the cabin here on the property and I'll be back to get on with the video with you guys. All right, guys. Those turned out good. I took a bite of one of them when I took them in. They were pretty good. Uh, that little Omni oven is awesome. Uh, I'm telling you guys, if you're in the van life and you got you a little cook stove and no oven, those are the things, that, that's the way to go, man. I, I'm surprised at how well that worked. Um, but yeah, and they loved the croissants when I took them in. They were pretty happy about that for them. Uh, but um, yeah, but I was reading on that. You can cook all kinds of things in there, like, 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 like uh, casserole type dishes even um so i'm so excited and again thank you glorious life on wheels and like i told you guys before that link will be down below um she's an awesome lady uh awesome channel she is uh i do a live uh, saturday night we're talking about on my live we're going to be talking about my go-to van channels and know that she is one of them um so guys um not a whole lot else uh to do today on this video um like I said, I'm uh, waiting for my uh, uh, diesel heater to get here. Um, it's saying between the 9th and the 12th of December. So that's awesome. Uh-oh, phones are going off here. I got notices of videos being dropped. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, it's going to be fun. Uh, 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 getting that diesel heater in here, I can't wait. My cats are off the chain, guys. They got to go outside today for a couple of hours. But holy moly, they haven't been going out as much as normal. And they have been driving me nuts. Uh, when I was cooking those croissants, they were everywhere in here. They're trying to get up on the counter. I was like, you guys got to stop. <laughs> um, but anyway, all right, guys. I'm going to get off here and uh, have a good evening. I'm headed over to the campfire with Meant to Be RVing. I hope to see you all there. Uh, take care. Uh, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next one.